and they were helping test the veterans. So they were working with us downstairs with, with, with the veterans resource, and they moved out. So all the resources that they had, they took with them. So we're still working diligently downstairs with, with the veterans at the veterans resource office downstairs. And I just want to uh, make, make note that we are helping veterans. And it's important that the citizens know that there is a veterans resource office downstairs at City Hall. Because there are so many veterans that come to our office have been in Vietnam and they want to apply for benefits. They hit 50 years late. And my point is, nobody's going to come knocking on the door. It's up to the veteran to take the initiative to come in and talk to us. We are willing to help you. I will take you up there in Philadelphia uh, on my own. So, and I have plenty of veterans stop me in the street, thank me for helping them get their benefits. So, for the, for the, for the gentlemen, like I said, I stopped them in the hallway and I just, you know, tell them, if you come, come in and talk to these students downstairs, maybe we can find something. If you come in and volunteer some time, you know, just, just, just get involved. Um, also, I just want to comment on the uh, chaplains. Um, you know, we do a conflict resolutions. We have stress uh, management classes, and we do um, brief classes. And we have different meetings throughout the year. So it's important that the Chester residents know that, and I'm pretty sure a lot of them don't know that. Um, and this is reference to the violence in the, in the, in the streets. Uh, we have reference to the death in the family, the death notifications, and things like that. So it's important that you know these things. These are resources, once again, resources. And it's important that you know the resources. A lot of times we don't know the resources because we don't come to City Hall. But we don't, you know, there's a whole table out there full of stuff with jobs on there, and people don't come downstairs and look for the job. So I'm just, I'm just trying to. You know, clean it up a little bit as far as with the veterans. So it's important that we please tell your family members, your veterans, you know, to please come in and see us because we're not going to come back on the door looking for it. It's up to the veterans to do it. Thank you. Mr. Shakur, is the conflict and stress management of those classes just for the veterans? No, this is for the citizens of Chester. Where do I sign up? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but listen, Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Seeing no one else at the microphone, let me just, um, I was hoping this, this candy came back uh, because I think it's important that folks you know some of the things that are going on. Number one, uh, we are, we have taken it upon ourselves at Mayor County to provide what's called, I guess it's called live streaming. <coughs> We're doing that right now. And we're doing the live stream because stuff happens and we don't we don't we want folks to see the whole picture. That's right. The good, the bad, the ugly. I mean, we're all human. We're all human. We go to some things in life. We all have we all find ourselves stressed out at times and we all find ourselves pushed to limit. I I'm always told that, well, you know, you're a minister as well, you're a pastor as well. Well, and I tell folks this. Jesus Christ. Christ himself got to mm -hmm. where he had to do some things or say some things that would change the direction of the conversation. We're here to do a job for the people of this community and we make ourselves accessible. We don't go behind the glass door, we don't hide behind the glass door. You find us in the supermarket, you'll find my door open, you'll find our doors open here in the city hall, we're in the community. Are we perfect? No, never, never have been, never will be. But we work hard. Some of the things you might have heard is the brown going on. Okay. The, brown the thing is, you have to be our eyes because we are not omnipresent. So we need folks to be able to be our eyes to be able to share with us some of the things that are going on in the community that are unlawful. Is this something not right? When I, went up, I, I came in this morning, I purposely, I, I, I purposely went on, on, on the curb.
Pearl Street Armory, just to see the trash that people throw out of their windows in the city of Chester. Go up on any on our friend, and folks simply trash Chester. We have got to learn how to help ourselves. Folks are not helping us. And I understand it, I get it. Folks say, wait a minute. You are now, you, you now have a parking meters. Just like parking meters everybody else has. Everybody filled up, it just brings their parking meters by a dollar. Citywide. So instead of me paying $37 when I go to the uh, garage in Philly, I'm now paying $38. <laughs> and all around Swampmore, we, everyone, no one is going to put a hand out the chest unless we help ourselves. And so we have to be innovative, we have to be creative in trying to help ourselves. The Act 47 folks are here, and they're our partners. But quite frankly, if we don't exit, if we don't do the right things to try to exit Act 47 at the given time, then Act 47 comes in, they become your government. And when they say cut, when they say cut and wipe out, no questions asked. It's just the way it is. And the state comes in. We've been on the Act 47 for over 20 years. That's right. Over 20 years, and no other government has tried to find ways to exit but this one. And we are determined not to have the state come in. You see what they did with our schools. <clears throat> you see what they've done with our housing developments. Mm -hmm. We do not have a solid tax base like these other communities. We have a number of housing developments, federal housing developments, which means a number of persons who do not pay, pay property tax, which hurts us desperately. So we have to come up with creative ways. We've got to find ways of, of building houses. We've got to find ways of rental properties coming into the city of Chester so that we don't have to wait for other care persons to help us, because they're not. They're not. If you ever been to a school board meeting, they don't want our kids in those other schools. So we gotta help ourselves. So if you see me get upset, passionate, I'm not going anywhere, I love this city. I'm a product of this city. My brothers and sisters, my family's in the city. These persons, their families in the city. And we are charged each and every day. We are charged each and every day with the task of how do we make it better, even in the eyes of some of those who think that we're good enough. I'll say this in the middle of that When I left Harrisburg, my hair is black. <laughs> but I came back here because I love this city. And I want to, I want to do everything I can. I don't care what it is. I want to do everything we can. We can. We brought young minds to the table and put them in position to be a help. To blend with those minds that are a little more seasoned. To work together to be a help. We don't walk past downtown, but we go through downtown and work with our entrepreneurs, our young entrepreneurs, and encourage them to continue doing what they're doing. And if you look at downtown, it may not be the prettiest place in all the world, but it's getting better. Because persons are investing. We have a brand new hotel. We have a medical marijuana facility. We have we have the old Chester, our old um, community hospital that's now been purchased by a husband and wife doctor team, which is going to create three to four hundred jobs, Mr. Gordon. And our folks got to be ready. Our folks got to be ready. Nobody is helping us. Nobody. So.
so we have to do what we have to do to help ourselves. And if Chester is going to move forward, it's going to take each and every one of us putting our boards in the world and pulling in the same direction. I don't mind getting you know, Sure that our ratepayers are treated 
fair and just mm -hmm. and our workers, our workers, the ones that are out there in the trenches, are treated fairly and justly. So we have committed ourselves to that. Nothing else short of that. So we wanted to make that clear. That said, we done.